So the next one is an idea called compassion, right? And this is kind of coming from a heart center, right? It's, it's feeling, it's being connected to your heart so that you can feel other people and the world and yourself that, and, and everything that's around you. And a, a woman that comes from compassion, a world, you know, comes from a space of being compassionate is, is so incredibly attractive. And, and, and a lot of people don't really get this idea. And, and some people get it kind of conceptually. I, I had a client one time and we used to talk about this idea because we, we I, I can't remember exactly what the situation was that she was in, but she was in some kind of situation and I was talking to her about being compassionate for the guy that she's with because she wasn't being compassionate at all. And I was talking about what being compassionate looks like, right? It's, it's getting into what's going on with him and seeing what's going on with him and, and putting yourself into his shoes and, and getting him and being on his side and, and not being stuck in your own pain and your own sadness and your own anger, right? We all have those things and we all experience those things, but getting stuck in those things is what prevents you from really being compassionate because it makes it so that you're so kind of filled up with your own anger and your own pain and your own kind of judgments about what's going on in the world that you're unable to experience other people fully. And so if you're not able to do that, what you want to go do is do some healing work and heal some of those past wounds that you have so that you can come into a space of compassion and you can really be on a man's side and you can you know, be filled with love and innocence and softness when you're around a man because that is one of the most beautiful and amazing things and attractive things that a man can possibly experience in his life because most of the people, for most men, most of the people that he meets in his life are people that have no compassion and they're stuck in their own anger and their own selfishness and their own kind of issues and problems and they're just waiting for their own turn to speak and they're just you know doing all that kind of stuff. Most people are in that kind of a space and so when you come from a space of compassion and you can really feel him and you can feel yourself and you can connect with him and you can show him that you're on his side, that can be an incredibly powerful thing that that makes him feel loved and cared for in a way that he may not feel with anybody else that's in his life. 